Okay, and welcome back to my channel. I'm back again, and this time I'm going to be doing a Cyber Monday unboxing. Um, on Cyber Monday, I shopped on Elf.com and ColourPop.com. I didn't get a lot from ColourPop. Honestly, there was not a lot I was interested in. Eyeshadows, like, I think you can only have so much eyeshadow palettes, right? Because, like, eyeshadows colors get to be a little bit redundant. Lip glosses and lipsticks and... I'm so over liquid lipsticks that it's not even funny. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know what else the makeup world could, could create that will inspire me to buy anymore. I, I don't know. But I did shop ColourPop and I did pick up some um, foundations and stuff from Fall from ColourPop. Besides the point, I know you guys don't want to hear me ramble about that. What you want to see is what I got from Cyber Monday. So since I already started with ColourPop, I'm going to go ahead and start with ColourPop. Since I started talking about ColourPop, I'll go ahead and start showing off what I got from ColourPop. I also shopped on Elf.com and got a lot of stuff in Elf. Um, so yeah, let's start with ColourPop. I'm not really sure why my stuff came in this huge box when I didn't really order anything worth being in this huge box and I'm also not sure why it's not in the original ColourPop packaging I know it's been a while since I shopped at ColourPop I think it's been at least seven months since I bought anything from ColourPop.com or maybe even longer than that and is, did they change their packaging to be just basic packaging or is it just because of the Cyber Monday holiday situation. I don't know. Somebody tell me. But it ain't pretty packaging anymore. It just came in a box like this. Brown paper bag. Or brown paper. Your standard bubble wrap. A little slip that tells you what you got. Basic ColourPop card. I mean, it's, it's different from what I'm used to. I'm going to toss that to the side. It doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah. And this is everything in soy. So it basically came like this. Not even that foam stuff. It didn't even come with the foam stuff that it normally comes with. Like, I was really just, I think I like ColourPop's packaging way more than I care for their products. To be quite, I like ColourPop's products, but the packaging was everything for me. And to get this basic box, I was like, yo. But I guess. And plus, it's a basic box and their prices are still the same. So, you know, I'm like, what's happening? But anyways. So, what I picked up was the ColourPop All-Star Matte Blur and Face Setting Spray. It says, it's, if your favorite photo filter could last all day, would you use it? Duh. This weightless, ultra-fine mist setting spray contains our dual mattifying system. Oh, excuse me. To give you that soft focus matte complexion you want with the stay all day wear you need. P.S. It's Packed with vitamin E and specially created to lock in color vibrancy and prevent fading. Well, that's a lot for a spray. Then I also got the All Star Matte and Blur Primer. It says, we bottled up a selfie filter to give you perfect looking skin that stays matte all day. This pore minimizing Line blurring skin perfecting primer is formulated with rose and chamomile asterisks mm. um, to give you the perfect canvas. Sounds promising. I'm almost tempted to wash my face and then apply this, apply the products, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm already tired. So um, I will be using these again in another video, but um, this is what the bottle looks like. I got two foundations i got the color dark 165 which i did swatch this um when i got it in the mail the other day i did swatch it 165 is the only shade that i really need i did not know that at the time so i also got dark 175 dark 175 is a little too red cool but um, it's called the color pop no filter foundation for you guys who haven't been on the bandwagon, don't really know. Haven't been watching any YouTube lately. <laughs> um, in the last seven months. Uh, let's see what this promises. It doesn't really say it promises anything. There's no promises. It's just called the No Filter Foundation. I'm assuming it's supposed to be give your face that filter look without using a filter. Well, we saw shit. She got. Uh, YouTube had a lot of mixed reviews on it. Some people liked it, some people didn't, some people thought it was I. So, 
I'll be interested to um, see how I feel about it. And then I also got, I didn't even show you guys what the bottle looks like. This is what the bottle looks like. These foundations do oxidize. In case you are wondering, it did not come with a cap. It's just, oh crap! <laughs> it didn't come with a cap. Just the bottle. Looks like that. I wish it did come with a cap, but a, you know, it does come with a lock feature though, so that's awesome. Lastly, because this is all in my, this is all I ordered from them. Lastly, I got the ColourPop No Filter Sheer Press Powder. And again, I wasn't sure what shade I should get, so I got two of them. I got Dark and Deep Dark. Crap, if I can only open. Again, with the grown-up proof pack um, packaging over here. Okay, here we go. Dark. That's what the compact looks like. And that's what the powder looks like. And then deep dark. Again with the grown up proof packaging. <laughs> deep dark. And that's what deep dark looks like. So that's everything that I got from ColourPop. Like I said before, there was not a lot I was interested in. I'm over liquid lipsticks, especially matte ones. Um, I got a bunch of stuff. And I actually did get a lot of eyeshadow palettes. But these were palettes I was actually interested in. I feel like ColourPop's eyeshadow palettes are a bit redundant. They all look the same to me. And it's like, ugh. Whereas in the ones I got from e.l.f. are a little bit more different. I could be being biased, but that's besides the point. And again, packaging not that pleasing. Um, it is what it is. It came in a cardboard box like this. And it has e.l.f. written all over it. Um, I want to say that this particular packaging beats their past packaging. But I do miss the original e.l.f. packaging when it came in the clear plastic bag that had e.l.f. and stuff on it. With a little drawstring. Yeah, I remember back in the day. Um... But it didn't come with any cushion or bubble wrap. They were pretty much just in this guy like this with the brown paper bag or the brown paper in it. But like I said before, I did get a lot of stuff from e.l.f. So I'm just going to dig right in and just pull things out. We're going to start with this guy. I've been wanting this eyeshadow palette since it was launched uh, about a couple, a couple months ago, I think. And when I went to go purchase it, it was sold out. And... Then it came back, so I'm excited to have this guy. I did play around and do some swatching, and these eyeshadows are very buttery soft. They kind of remind me of the e.l.f. single eyeshadows that they had back in the day. I'm not sure if they still have those, but that velvet softness and the color pigmentation payoff is amazing, like those. Um, I always said that I wish that they would come out with more colors of their little single ones because those were the most pigmented and best formulated ones out of their collection but I really like this palette it looks warm tone but don't be fooled these are very cool tone colors I love the color combination that they did very nice you have a lot of mattes and a few shimmers I think there's about four or five shimmers and the rest are all matte so I really like or not shimmers but satins there's no shimmer in here it's just satin and mattes but it's a really nice, well thought out looking palette. And I love that they have the names on there. You go elf. Okay. So I really like this. Really, really. And I'm so anxious to use this palette. It's the Opposites Attract Eyeshadow Palette. And they even give you like three looks to try on the back, like combinations, tell you what names to use and where to position them at. Really like this. Then next, I got the e.l.f. Matte Oil Control Lotion. It, um, it says it's a whipped clay infused lotion, absorbs oil on contact and helps provide a long lasting matte finish with kaolin, clay, and tea tree 
This lightweight formula provides just the right amount of hydration and oil control. And it looks like these. Can't really tell. My light's blurring out everything because of the light packaging. But I really like the packaging. This is the cutest thing ever. Elf's has really come a long ways with packaging and product range. I really, really like um, this. This is, I mean, the product is more important than the packaging. I get that. But come on now. Everybody loves a good a good packaging and I cannot wait to try this preferably not this time of the year because I'm not oily at all during the winter time um so that's gonna be more of a spring not summer thing but I'm still gonna try it before it gets worn <laughs> then I got the elf plus glow dewy mist this is the coconut and argan oil one this did not come in a box. It literally just came like this. And it says, this coconut infused mist hydrates and boosts glow. It says, the coconut water infused facial mist hydrates and refreshes makeup, leaving your skin with a dewy glow. Hydrating ingredients, hyaluronic acid and argan oil help plump and nourish the skin. Very excited to try that. Then I got the e.l.f. Plus Glow Radiant Moisturizer with coconut and hyaluronic acid and SPF 15. It says the coconut infused moisturizer hydrates your skin and impacts, excuse me, it does not say impact, it says imparts a golden glow. Formulated with hyaluronic acid and shea butter, this moisturizer will give you, give your skin the hydration it needs and the radiance you want in one step. So, that's that. Again, with the adult proof packaging. <laughs> and the bottle looks like this. Very cute. Very something you would buy in Ulta in like the skincare section, you think? It's really nice. I really like this packaging. I really like the packaging of the Elf Plus stuff. Really nice. Really, really nice. Then I got this. Elf Active Freshen Up Hair Mist. It looks like this. Performance Formula Refreshing Scent Weightless Shine. Freshen up your hair with this perfume mist that scents your hair with luxurious fragrance while adding weightless shine infused with pearlescent pigments for a subdual shimmer and argan oil and aloe to smooth and condition spritz to refresh your locks throughout the day for hair that looks as good as it smells. And I did smell this, and oh, it, it's like, it's literally perfume that you spray on your hair. Like, I could have just sprayed my perfume on my hair, but you know what I'm saying. Looks like that. Very cute. Very basic. But I like it. This stuff really does smell good, though. Like. Oh, my God, it smells so good. So, so good. Perfect for when you're wearing your hair down, you know, and you like cuddling up with somebody and you didn't wash your hair the night before, you know, or wash your hair in like two weeks, you know, just spritz it and cuddle buddy all day long, right? Alrighty, and then next, I got the Modern Metals Eyeshadow Palette. I have been wanting this one for a while too. And, sorry, I didn't even show y'all the packaging. It came in a package like this. It says the Modern Metals the Modern Metallics Meat Statement Mattes in this 10-pan palette of perfectly curated shades with an inspiring assortment of bold and neutral shades. This palette lets you create subtle everyday looks, sultry evening looks, and everything in between. The Modern Metals Collection has, I'm sorry, was designed in partnership with Elf's Community. Awesome. I don't know what that means, but awesome. I've been out of the loop for a while, y'all. I don't know what that means. Anyways, this is what the container looks like. Nothing really fancy, but I do like the packaging. And this is what the colors look like. I love this shade range. This is a very unique shade range. I'm interested to see how it performs as well as the Opposites of Track palette. I love the shade range. Very interesting. But this one it really caught my eye. I love the shade range in here. 
and again I swatch these and they're like they're like bro like okay 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 oh these two look good together I have to do a look like that boo but yes 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 so that's that and then I got the I can still smell that hair mist it literally smells so good. Um, then I got the e.l.f. bronzer in the color Deep. This is from their dollar line, I think. Dollar or two dollar line. And looks like that. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Becca's bronzer. The um, Sunlit Bronzer in Maui Nights, which is one of my favorite bronzers ever. Kind of reminds me of it, but this one's more on the red side. But yeah, looks like the yet. Let me put her away. But, and it has a bit of a sheen to it. It looks really, really pretty. I did swatch this. I will swatch it again on camera. I don't know if you guys can see that. That was a horrible swatch, but I feel like my lighting is washing it out. But that's what that looks like. And then I picked up another bronzer, though I didn't have enough. I have the Primer Infused Bronzer um, Constantly Bronze for Long Lasting Wear. The long wearing bronzer is infused with primer powder to ensure a full day of bronze glow. Use this, uh, use this long wearing bronzer to give your face that sun kissed glow all day long. This bronzer is smooth and easy to apply while adhering to the skin for long lasting wear. Um, and I got this shade, I don't know, I don't know the shade, it does not say. It doesn't say on the actual packaging, so, oh, the shade name is Constantly Bronze, and this is what the packaging looks like, and this is what the color looks like. I'm like running out of space here, that's the color of this one. I feel like the $2 one will be more of a bronzer on me versus this one. So, I don't know about this. This was the darkest shade that they had. But I don't really see that being a bronzer on me. So, I might have to pass this along, but we'll see. And then, I got the e.l.f. Antioxidant Booster Drops. Looks like a lot. Again with this grown up proof <sighs> packaging. Bro. This is what the bottle looks like. The glass bottle has a nice little weight to it. You get 50 milliliters in here. That's what your typical pipette. A very sticky slimy consistency and it smells like absolutely nothing absolutely nothing um let's see what it says the lightweight booster supercharges your beauty products with antioxidants for added protection this concentrated drops can be these concentrated drops can be used alone or added into any foundation liquid or cream enriched with A word I cannot pronounce on the screen because what what is that That's what I also picked up some more of my favorite eye primers on the planet and that is the elf original eye primers but I think, I think they went up on these these used to be a dollar I think they're two dollars now I could be mistaken I'll correct myself in the description box but these are my favorite eyeshadow primers of life I I have tried others um, mostly high-end ones, and I just keep going back to my e.l.f. There is nothing like the original e.l.f. eyeshadow primers. Love them. Holy grail product for me. Then I picked up this Poreless Putty Primer in Universal Sheer. It says this perfecting putty primer smooths the skin and preps it with squ squalane to help moisturize and grip makeup for all day wear the velvety texture glides over the skin smoothing 
over imperfections for a poreless effect. I'm going to be looking up what these these hard to pronounce words are. And it's not, I don't think it's the fact that they're hard to pronounce. It's just I ain't never seen these words before. And I need to know what's being put into my product and then put on, then put on my face. Because what? I ain't never heard of that before. Oh my God, with this packaging, bro. Anybody just say screw it and just rip the box up? They're going in the trash anyway. And this is what it looks like. And again, this is in Universal Sheer. But it's kind of pink. <laughs> it doesn't really matter because you're going to be putting foundation on top of that, right? So that's what that looks like. Only two more things to go. This is going to be a fairly short video for me anyway. And then I also picked up the Modern Metals Blush and Highlight Palette. Um, it says the versatile palette includes three blushes, three highlighters to mix, match, and blend for a custom flush and glow throughout the year. The matte blushes are infused with primer powder to stay all day. The formula is easy to blend, perfectly pigmented for the ease of application, and grips your cheeks like a second skin. The shimmer highlighting powder has micro fine shimmer to blur lines and create a soft focus glow on the skin. The Modern Metals Collection was designed in partnership, yeah, with the community of Elf. Okay, good. Ugh. This is what the palette looks like. I like how this is in, like, a rustic gold, old gold, and then this is, like, in a silver. Anyways, these are the highlighters. These are the blushes. I'm going to swatch these highlights right fast. I don't know if you guys can see that. The world's worst swatches ever. Pretty, but you know what? I really like Elf's highlighters. I have no complaints on any of their highlighters. These are really pretty highlighters, and these are shades that I would typically go for. And this one really surprised me because it looks peachy in here, but it's more of a golden. It's more golden, and then the one in the middle is like a pinky, taupey color, and it's more of a champagne on the skin. And then this one at the end is more of an ash gold. I like it though. This like this one on the end and this one here will be the ones that I will mostly gravitate towards. And then let me see if I can swatch these blushes right fast. This is gonna be interesting. Okay. Worst swatches of life. <laughs> okay, I don't see myself wearing Hold on, let me swatch the, the first one again. I swear that was like the worst swatch of life. Okay, that's much better. These are really pretty. Really pretty blushes. I like these too. I don't know if I can be able to wear this one though. Maybe. We'll see. That's really pretty. I like this palette a lot. Nayo! Down to the last product. And lastly, I got the e.l.f. Coffee and Cream Highlighter Duo. From the Heart Defensor collection, or it was in partner. With, I don't know if she has a collection. I think it was just this product. I'm not sure. I don't know. I've been off my makeup game for a while, so I haven't really been following anything. But this is what it looks like. I wanted it when it first came out, but again, I waited. You can see my fingerprints all over. I really love this packaging. Very, very nice. But man, the fingerprints, bro. And this is what the highlighters look like. Oh man, I gotta find some spots on me to do these hot. You know what? I got time for that. Just wipe off my hand. <laughs> and let's swatch right fast. And. Oh, that's pretty. I will not be wearing that one. I like this shade. This shade here? I don't know. I could wear that as a topper. Let's mix them and see what it looks like. So the mix looks like that. I like that. Really pretty, really pretty highlights. I love Elf's highlights. They have really good affordable highlighters. And that was everything that I got from um, Elf on the Cyber Monday haul. Thank you guys so much. Um, don't forget to thumbs up, comment, like, and just and subscribe don't forget to click click that notification bell that is so important for me guys if you guys subscribe to me you have to click the no notification bell because if you don't you're only going to get some of my videos some of the time if you click the bell after you subscribe you will get all of our videos every time i upload um if you are not new to me and you've been subscribing 
subscribed to me for a while, I cannot talk today, then, and you're not getting in any of my videos, that's because YouTube is, you know, <laughs> YouTube. Algorithms have changed, things have changed, people's channels are no longer growing, and that's just the way life is right now on YouTube. But, um, enough about that. So if you are subscribed to me and you haven't been seeing any of my videos, that's because you need to click the notification bell so you can get all of my videos whenever I upload. Other than that, you can follow me on Instagram, t not Twitter, because I, I am never on Twitter, but Instagram, Snapchat, and that's all D going on Dime384, or you can find me on the La La Vu as well. Um, you can also find me on Facebook, D going on Dime 384 Yeah, and that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in again for another 12 days of La La Vu, and I will catch you in another video. Bye, guys.